Hey everyone, good morning. So there's a couple of events going on over here on Infinity Island, including this capturing contest. Not many people understand what is going on over here, so I will try my best to explain in this video. As usual, there's a couple of codes on the screen for you to use, each code only works for one player, so make sure to subscribe to not miss the next ones. And also, join our Discord, the link is in the description, we have a cool community over there, and I also sometimes give codes to some of the users. Let's try to understand what is going on. There are 6 rounds in total, and each round lasts 60 minutes. For each round, one random Pokemon will appear on the map, and you can just click on it so that you can auto-find the Pokemon, and once you capture the Pokemon, you can exchange it into items and points. Now, if you want to know when the next round will start, you can see it over here. The next round will start in 6 hours and 40 minutes. Now, this means that technically we will have like around 12 hours to play this event. So it's 12 hours for 6 rounds. So what I am assuming is that in 6 hours and 40 minutes, it starts the round 1, right? And then we have 1 hour of just a resting time so one hour without the event and then it's round two for another hour but apparently even if you don't have the time to be online on that exact moment it says over here that the rewards you could also re-complete the missed rounds with diamonds so what i am assuming is that imagine that you cannot be online in six hours and 40 minutes and you actually miss the first round you can probably just buy a chance to access that first round with diamonds Pokemon with higher IV are rewarded with more points, and it says over here, raise IV by IV reset. That means that once we catch the Pokemon that is part of the event, you can come over here to the Pokemon that you catch, and you can actually reset the IV. So remember that if you want to buy some of these items, you can do so over here in the shop. Now it says the ranking is as per player's points in the server. Ranking rewards will be sent to the mailbox. Now, with the six rounds, I think the rankings that we see over here and these items will be rankings according to the six rounds in total, and not, sadly, not for each round. Otherwise, this would be too OP. Imagine if you just get top 10 in the six rounds, that would be 125 gacha points, and you could exchange a Pokemon over here for 150. And now that I actually think twice about it, is it really too OP? <laughs> I, I don't think so, I don't think so anymore. Because actually the decent Pokemon over here on the gacha shop, uh, they are quite expensive, right? If you want something like this, they are actually quite expensive. So if we would get this for each round, would not be bad at all. So if you want a short explanation, basically what should happen is that in those six rounds that there should be six Pokemon to catch, and if you just uh, have them with a higher IV, you get more points, and according to your points you will get a ranking which gives you rewards. That's the TLDR of it. Now let's take a look at the other events, and this is more for the rechargers that I'm going to talk about. For those who enjoy spending money on the game, I would say this is the best time to do so, at least $5. Because with $5 you can get like so damn much, I already explained this in a previous video, and I already recharged $5, so I'm going to activate it over here. Uh, $5 gives you the lucky star, gives you three random numbers, and by the time this reaches, if you get one of the numbers, you get 10 gacha coins. But just by participating without needing to actually hit any number, you get these rewards for number one, number two, and number three. This is a total of 18 of these rumble packs. Not to talk about the other rewards like some extra diamonds, mega stones, safari tickets, and also treasure hunting. Let's actually spin a little bit over here. Okay, nothing so good, but keep in mind that your luck from the treasure hunting, uh, it stacks up, it stays over here. So once you reach like for example 330, if you actually recharge that much, you will for sure get these gacha points tickets which will give you 1.5k gacha points. On top of that, lucky spin, you spin a little bit to get a little bit more diamonds, so 265 and... 
562 and it, it's okay if i want more i would need to recharge 418 that's not going to happen finally on the event over here single recharge we have five of those lucky packs let's claim that cumulative recharge this one is the better one so we get one plus two plus three of these rumble packs oh plus four plus four i was missing this one as well so we get a total of 10 rumble packs keeping in mind that together with those 10 rumble packs you get more 18 over here so that's already 28 and i'm going to show you guys something very interesting let me just go over here to the daily recharge as well since i got a free gadget coin and a ticket and whatever and another mega stone right yes i did and if i go to my inventory let me just go over here to the rumble pack and we can see each one rumble pack gives you five legend capsules but the only reason why i was also mentioning the legend capsules is of course some people might need uh, some specific abilities and with only 12 rumble packs you can get 60 of these ability capsules which well uh will give you more than enough 60 is actually exactly enough that you need to actually get an ability over here but oh well i was expecting something a little bit different maybe some also some discounts for diamonds just like the new year or the christmas but this is still very nice it's a, a new event is something that we never had before so we will see how it works good luck to everybody hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next video